is Grappy Peep Susanna here today for Thermo Web, and I'm here to share with you this Halloween layout created using some Laura Kelly goodies from Thermo Web. So there are five pictures on there, uh, as well as some Bella Boulevard and some LA Studio. So I am using the Wavy Borders toner sheet, and I am using the very purple. Uh, transfer sheet that is the foil color so make sure you've heated your laminator put the silver side to the black side of the toner sheet and put it in a parchment package and run it through your warm laminator um, I am going to put mine through a second time because I have such a large piece of parchment it created a little bit of a crease and so I'm just going to shift it over um, and that will then push the color back down I am going to do two of these squares um, because initially I thought I was going to do a um, stack them side by side and use it as a whole thick border but I'm going to change my mind. So what I'm doing here is I am stamping the people from the my me and my peeps stamp set from Laura Kelly and uh, this lady I'm turning into a witch so she has stripy socks she has a long nose with a wart on it and now she is getting a witch's hat I wish I had done a broom draw a, drawn a broom in her hand um, but I, I didn't think about that at the time and then I am going to use um, some markers to just color in the appropriate colors of uh, my witch here so she's got a black or gray hat depending on what you want to look at she is green um, and then her nose is slightly darker and then she is going to wear uh, purple and yellow striped socks which are hard to see but they are with some black shoes and a purple dress I am going to dress up four of these little peepee -pee people um, in their Halloween costumes so this is me this is witchy mum uh, next we are going to have Franken Dad, and so I will stamp uh, one of the male characters in Laura Kelly's stamp set and then um, make him Frankenstein. And I will fussy cut each one of these out. I am stamping them on uh, Gina K. Um, premium cardstock, the luxury white, and then so it's it's very thick. It's 110 pound, I'm pretty sure. Um, and so a little bit tougher to cut, but it coordinates with the white cardstock um, that I am designing on for my 12 by 12 layout. Um, and it just gives a nice depth to the people. So you can see, stamp it, clean it. Um, and now, so Frankenstein is going to have stitches on his forehead. Um, I'm gonna turn his mouth with a thicker black pen um, into sort of that zigzag stitched mouth. And, uh, black for his hair he does have gray shadows underneath his eyes um, which you can see better in the close-ups and he has bolts on his neck and um, he is going to get his pants are going to be ripped kind of like Frankenstein's um, and so that is Franken dad so we have myself and then Michael my husband um, and I will also fussy cut him out so there's sort of a bit of a theme sort of a bit of a what is that there is a theme here um, uh, when the Laura Kelly line was released I made a Halloween layout no a Christmas layout and we were wearing our holiday pajamas and then on the 4th of July I um, made a festive family um, and so now uh, Halloween I will um, here is my Halloween family so this is um, ghostly glue my son's nickname is glue um, which is why it's ghostly glue and so this really cool vellum ghost that I drew um, as the sheet and the ultra bond works really really well to glue vellum down um, and so what I did was I put the glue where his where the ghost's eyes were and then on the waistline of the um, stamped person and you cannot see that he has been glued down so definitely recommend uh, the ultra bond liquid adhesive 
So this is Batty Mia. Mia is my daughter, and so I've put little bat wings on her dress there. And Mia is going to be holding a trick-or-treat bag because this was last year's photos, and she was the only one to go trick-or-treating last year. I'm not sure if she will be going this year, so we'll see what photos we have for Halloween for this year. Um, and so her little purse, which I made into a trick-or-treat bag, um, I just colored the spots orange. And of course, everybody must have a haunted house on Halloween. So I drew in shingles to the roof and a little, I think a finial is what the topping, the top is called. Um, those little pointy things like the pointy things on the top of the, 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 um, the fence that you see there on the right hand side. So, and then that is all I'm going to do. I thought about drawing in some bricks um, or some creaky boards. But that was going to get really confusing, um, and so just for simplicity's sake, I didn't do that, and I just, I colored in the windows in yellow, maybe that was orange, orange, um, and then I, yellow, and then the rest of the house is in black or gray. Um, this black pen looks very gray, uh, and the gray is a very light gray really is how that comes out. And so I'm going to fussy cut each one of those as you can see there. And now it is time to create the layout. So my original plan when I set out to do this was to do a page somewhat similar to the 4th of July page. Um, I will try and link you up to that. Uh, and what I did was I basically had uh, two vertical stripes strips, uh, one on the left hand side of one pattern paper and then one on the right hand side. And so I thought I would do that here, but I have a different number of photos and so that was not going to work. Um, it just didn't look eye catching to me. Uh, and so, and I really wanted the order of the photos to be those uh, four by threes at the top because that's us carving the pumpkins. And then I really wanted that more, it's not four by six, it's whatever four by three blows, uh, blows up to four by 5.346 or something like that. Um, we'll just go with four by six photo of the four of us holding our completed pumpkins. Um, so uh, having done the two strips side by side going vertically, I was going to lose the order of those pumpkins. Um, I really like the way that that strip of jack-o'-lanterns down the bottom there, uh, that this is from Bella Boulevard, these pattern papers that I'm working with. I like the way that the playfulness of the Laura Kelly stamps works with the playfulness of those uh, jack-o'-lanterns there. So I, I know I want the strip down the bottom, and now I'm thinking that maybe those, those wavy borders from Laura Kelly, the purple wavy borders are going to end up being a strip as well. Um, and so I don't need the second set um, and I can mat my photo with that. And I really like the way that uh, the darker photo down the bottom of the four of us, because that was taken at night. Um, I like the way that the shiny background just, it, it's a darker photo. And so it lightens the shininess of the foil lightens that photo. Um, and it also gives you the night effect to some extent. So I have decided this is definitely more how I'm going to set this up, but I want another border um, to offset the stark contrast of the white jack-o'-lanterns um, from the teal spidery paper that I'm using there. There we go. So I like the way that that pops that a little bit better. Um, I'm definitely going to go with the wavy Laura Kelly up the top and so that plays off of the tall skinny people in Haunted House and then um, it'll play off of the stripe that is down the bottom of the page there and it unites everything. Uh, it provides some weight to, from the top to the bottom of the page. So these are three quarter inch strips and I am just going to piece them together across the top. These are not six by six squares, so I do need just a little bit off of the right hand edge there. So I've set up the whole thing with that teal up the top, but I, I don't want that much color. Um, and I really wanted to have my family 
on the white background because I just feel like you see the color a little bit better. Um, and so that's why I cut down the teal there. That's just a four inch strip. Um, and I will off camera zigzag in black thread stitch between the wavy border, the Laura Kelly border, and that um, teal spidery piece of paper there from Bella Boulevard. I wanted to show as many of the spiders as I could, so they're kind of just peeking out from behind a photo or underneath that photo um, so that you still get the idea. I also liked the way that the black of the spiders added a little bit more black to the layout. Um, my trimmer and I are not getting along. I have to also apologize for um, my camera is crooked over my workspace. I think I might have knocked it by accident. I did my first ever live recently um, for another manufacturer and you have to have your camera horizontal um, and it, <laughs> that was a debacle in and of itself and so I um, everything's just a little bit ski wampus having done that and I need to find balance again. Uh, so I have this stamp and I knew when I was doing this these Laura Kelly people that I really wanted to use that stamp with the um, sort of Halloween-y border there, uh, the fence. And so I am going to stamp that on this Ellie Studio 4x6 card. These are older cards that have been sitting in my stash for a while. Um, I have been doing a much better job lately of using up each kit each month as it comes. Um, and so I have lots in my stash to get me through. Um, yeah, well, I don't know that I'll get through because I've been doing such a good job of busting through each month's kit. So that is the overall layout. Um, now it's time to add the the final details to my Halloween trick-or-treating family. Uh, so this is the fence that I referenced. I am working on a We Are Memories Keeper pa paper pad that's huge and so I can stamp. I don't have to put background paper behind anymore because you can see um, I just stamp directly onto this paper and I can pull off the sheet once I've got too much on there and it becomes too busy of a background. Um, so there is my scene that I've created. Uh, I don't know why I'm laying them out on the 4x6 card itself. I think I wanted the fence behind them, but my original plan, yeah, was for them to go down there. So that way I have a horizontal border followed by the horizontal photos followed by the horizontal movement of that vertical photo that says our favorite tradition. Um, and then I want to journal in that little white spot. Then I have the horizontal um, trick-or-treaters and then the horizontal row of pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns and then that horizontal row of strips. So everything is horizontally oriented despite the really tall verticals of the skinny people and the verticals of um, those strips down the bottom there. So that, my friends, is pretty much um, the, the basis of the layout. I just want to go in and put in some fine-tuned details. Um, so I have these stickers from that go with the collection. This is the Bella Boulevard collection. Uh, and I just want to put a few shots of black into the layout. Again, I feel like that big white space, which is where I've saved for the title, needs a little something um, black down there for sure, because otherwise you've got that stark white contrast of that open space there. Um, so uh, ThermaWeb has some really great foam adhesive. You have the iCraft squares. You can get those in black and white, which are perfect for Halloween creating if you're using black elements. Um, you can see I used a white one behind that boo there. Uh, and I like that you don't get the shadows. So if you're taking photos of your projects or you're looking at it sort of at a more um, on eye level Instead of looking at it with the paper standing upright, instead if you look at it more horizontally, um, you can see that foam. And if you use the black foam, you will not see the shadow so much, or you will not see the white foam because it creates a shadow. Uh, there's also the super long foam rolls, um, which I am going to use for the title for carving. So you're going to see me put pumpkin here, but these letters are super, super sticky. And I am not going to make you watch me put all of it. Literally, that was like five minutes of putting down these foam thicker layers. And then I'm going to do carving. You can see it right there in that blue um, is just another stamp that's popped up off the page. So enjoy the close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. If you have any questions about anything that 
that I've done, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below. I hope you are doing well, getting ready for Halloween. It's my favorite holiday and come back again soon. Take care.